Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're back in here, hit that like button. And today I'm just going to jump straight into this topic because this honestly to me is one of the most important topics that I don't really feel a lot of people speak about. And the reason why this is the one reason why your manifestations are not working out. I could easily do a hour video just on this topic alone. So I'll definitely keep touching on it in different types of videos and also different ways to improve it and that is your self-concept and why the law of assumption ties in so well with your self-concept and we see this a lot with musicians a lot of musicians talk about how they would just walk around in the assumption that they were already famous they would imagine themselves even when they weren't even on that scale of the music that they ended up making in the very beginning their self-concept, which came from the assumption that, hey, I am a superstar. And then it leads to their life manifesting. The problem is when you have a different self-concept of yourself to actually what you want to manifest, the two cannot work together. You cannot serve two masters. Most people are lukewarm. That's why it says in Revelation 3 verse 16. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold i'm about to spit you out of my mouth and so that's what it is most people are just lukewarm they don't have a self-concept of themselves you might even have a plan of action and we've seen this with people who decide hey i'm gonna get fit i'm gonna start going to the gym i'm gonna buy supplements and things they buy all of that they even get a personal trainer and then guess what they quit after a week and what is the reason for that? That is because they haven't had, they haven't seen the end result of what is possible in their lives. Their self-concept of themselves has not changed. And so today I also want to explain how you can change your self-concept through the law of assumption, through steps. Because a lot of the time people find it difficult to be able to think right to the very end. But when you can assume the steps that take you to the end then you're able to get there through incremental steps and this is the story about when i was still doing mixed martial arts and how insane it was so i was watching a lot of ufc ultimate fighting championship supporting all the people watching it religiously and what starts to happen is when you watch a lot of fights and you watch all the best guys and then you start watching some guys who are at the lower levels making their way up you start becoming one of those fans who sort of gives his opinion ah oh, he should have done this he should have done that right so that's almost the first assumption is that i know what you could have done there that could have helped you now obviously it's different when you're in there and you're actually just watching as a fan but that was my assumption. I know what you can do in that situation. And even during fights, I would watch and I would see certain openings and be like, he should throw the body kick. And the people with me would listen and then he would throw the body kick. And they'd be like, oh, good call. And I'd be like, yeah, because I saw the opening. So my assumption started growing of myself as a martial artist. And... Out of nowhere, because the universe will always conspire to give you what you want. All of a sudden, my brother tells me, hey, do you know our other friend? He's doing MMA. He has an amateur fight. Let's go watch. And I thought, what? That's so crazy. I've been saturating my mind with UFC all the time. Now I'm going to go watch a live fight. And it's one of my friends. We go to this event, not even far from my home. We go watch this event. And I'm seeing the people fight. And then here the next assumption comes. I could get in there. I think I could fight. Yes, I had a beer or two in. But you see where the assumption led me now. To, hey, I can actually jump in there. Like, I saw some guys and I wasn't really impressed with them. I think I would have done this and I would have done that. Time moves on, as it always does. But my mind, I'm still watching the UFC. I'm still talking to people about their training and how things are going i'm at my one friend's place and he's getting ready and i said where are you going he says oh i'm going to training in my head i thought he was talking about going to the gym or something there was other guys in the room 
And when he was getting done, I saw him put on gloves, boxing gloves. And he started going around shadow boxing and sparring with all the friends that were there at the flat. And they all said, ah, oh, he's getting ready again for training because that's something he does. When he gets ready for training, he would go and try spar with all the friends that are there. And they would kind of just like carve away. And if someone did try to do something back, he would just quickly whip them. Not badly, obviously, but it was very much of that. So he comes to me and he starts throwing punches at me and clinching me, Muay Thai clinch. And I just start giving back. And now it's this weird moment because everybody's busy watching us and they go, oh wow, Mikey's actually giving him a run for his money. And so it was like this weird tie. And after that, he just said, bro, come with me. Like, you'll do well, come train with me. So you see how the universe just starts doing this more and more and more. And how the actions just kept following. Because I was in that flow now. And I told him, no, not now. And it took me about him asking me about three times before I just decided, you know what, let me just go. I end up going and I do really well against some really strong guys. And the coach comes up to me and says, hey, um, where have you trained before? You've got a really good mind for the game. And I said, I've never trained before. I've only watched things on YouTube and I've, I watch the UFC all the time. And he goes, wow, that's pretty incredible. So now my assumption in increases. Now my assumption is, wow, I can actually hang in there with some guys who've been training since they were like little kids. I'm now someone who the coach is coming up to and asking me, where did you learn to fight? Time goes on. I st I, I'm training now and then, I'm training now and then. My A different friend, a completely different friend. Now this is where it's beautiful because I'm going to keep saying it, the universe will conspire to give you what you want. And so what happens is that my friend calls me up and he goes, Mikey, you should see this one place. It's close to your house. It's, they've got an insane facility for training. They do MMA, they do kickboxing, they do jiu-jitsu, they do Muay Thai, they do judo, they do everything, wrestling. He takes me there. He's like, yeah, let me just show you it. He takes me there. We walk around this place. You got to take your shoes off. You know, it's the whole deal. It's, it's the proper deal. And we walk in there and I look around and I just look at him straight. And I'm like, bro, this place is insane. It's this massive warehouse that's just kitted out completely for training. And he tells me as we leave, right? He, like we ask the prices and stuff. I've got no money. <laughs> I'll be honest. I have zero money. So when they told me about it, I was like, uh, you know, I'll keep train in my head. I was like, I'll just keep training by where I'm training for free in someone's garage. Cause it's all the same to me. At least I get to train and fight. And essentially what happens is that we're in the car and we're driving back and he says, bro, I will pay for you to go train there. You don't have to worry about the cost. You just show up and you just do your best. And I was like, what? He's like, no, don't worry. I got you. I know you're passionate about this. And I started training there. Never had to worry about payments. Do you, do you understand how this is how, once again, the universe will conspire to give you what you want? Because that was my assumption. And then in my head, I was like, I could be, I could hold one of the belts at one of these amateur events. I could do that. And not just that, this is the craziest part. The, the amount I started training, because the assumption of myself was, I can whip anybody I really want to. That's who I am. That's how strong I am. And then guess what followed? I was training eight hours a day. I could tell you right now, I train every day right now, but there's no way near what I was training back then when I had the self-concept of I'm a dangerous martial artist. I keep my, my, all my tools very sharp all the time. I'm always ready to go. Just that self-concept of myself, just that assumption of myself, the action followed. Training was easy to me. Training was easy to me. Eight hours was nothing to me. Then what else came with that? Eating healthy. I was in the best shape I'd ever been in my life. This is the power of your self-concept. 
but look how it started. I just started having the assumptions of the incremental steps. Oh, I can do that. And then I did that. Oh, wow, I can do that. So, hey, I can actually do that. I can do that. And it just starts building up and building up and building up. And so that's how you could get to the point of the main level of the wish fulfilled. And that is actually how it naturally happens in life. You see it with YouTubers even. They'll do videos for 10 years. You'll see they've got all these videos. And then only after 10 years, they would be one of the most successful YouTubers. And it's, you have to ask yourself, why is that? They started with the assumption of, I can post a video, right? Then the next one is, hey, I can actually edit my videos pretty fast. I've gotten good enough. So I could probably do a video every day. And then they see they get some views on it. And it's like, hey, I'm someone who actually gets views. And it builds and the assumption builds. And after years, they get to the mindset of, I have my own fan base. I have my own community around me now. But what people don't understand is you can jump to that assumption. You don't have to build it up. But it's all about living in the wish fulfilled. Completely saturating your mind with it. To know that this is who you are and that's it. So this is why I feel self-concept is the most important part about changing your whole life when it comes to manifestations. Because everybody knows what it's like to manifest themselves a cup of coffee. Or the one I always use is when you're at a mall and it's a busy day and you, don't, you can't find a parking space. And you close your eyes and you envision the feeling of, oh, I got my my parking space. These manifestations, yes, those are possible as well. And they also build the muscle to get to the bigger things. But you can change your whole life completely, but you have to start with the assumption that you are a completely different person. As Neville says, you have to kill the old you. The old you does not exist anymore. So that's going to be my idea on self-concept why it ties in so well with the law of assumption that actually gives you the life that you want to have. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share this with someone who needs to see this. I know a lot of people these days are confused and trapped and let's spread the info out there and get everybody living the lives that they want to live and, and not be bottled down by doubt and the old concepts of themselves. And if you want to see more of this type of content, subscribe. Anyways, my old videos are over there and over there. And subscribe over here. I'm out. Peace.